Roger Ailes currently runs Fox News Channel, but did you know that in 1978, he worked, 1970, he worked as a media strategist for Richard Nixon? Well, Gawker did know that, so they went into the Nixon Library, and they uncovered a 300-page document that showed a blueprint for basically building a Republican TV network. Uh, it was called, quote, a plan for putting the GOP on TV news, and it had Roger Ailes' handwriting literally all over it, as you're seeing right there. That's Ailes' handwriting, and eventually he was put in charge of this project. Well, one of the things that he said uh, in this memo was that it's a good idea to do a television station like this because, quote, the reason people are lazy with television, you just sit, watch, listen, and the thinking is done for you. And he didn't get a chance to really get that off the ground back in the 1970s. But a quarter century later, all of a sudden in 1996, here was the first day of Fox News Channel. Bob Dole finally squared off in their first presidential debate, and Bob Dole proved that he has a better vision for the future of America. He's going to give you back more of your money. Shocking that Fox News started that way. And then back in 2000, the most critical thing of all, they selected John Ellis, who was a cousin of George W. Bush, to be the head of their quote unquote decision task during the election. And lo and behold, will you look at what Fox News de declared first among all the networks? Watch. Fox News now projects George W. Bush, the winner in Florida, and thus it appears the winner of the presidency of the United States. They were the first network to call it. Bush's cousin called the election. Then all other networks came afterwards. Even though it was a statistical tie, all of a sudden, George W. Bush became the president of the United States, even though he did not win the popular vote. And he, when they recounted Florida, he didn't win the electoral vote either. But Fox News did a mission accomplished right there. And ever since, they've been doing the same kind of stuff. Watch. End of capitalism as we know it. That's socialism to me. Obama's a socialist. Many Americans believe that President Obama is a socialist. Barack Obama socialist. Sounds like a Marxist or a socialist. All right, with me now, John Cook, staff writer for Gawker. He uncovered all the amazing Nixon-era files. Great job in finding this, John. I, you must have been excited when you found this, and you're like, oh, my God, they had the plan all along. So tell me what the original plan was. It wasn't to start Fox News Channel. It was to do what with the media? Well, they, what they wanted to do, they, they saw the network, the national networks as the enemy, and they wanted to try to get the GOP viewpoint around them. So they realized that, that a huge, you know, I think it was 57% of Americans at the time got their news from local news, local stations across the country. So they said, look, why don't we create uh, news content, interviews with Republican lawmakers uh, and, and, and governors, et cetera, and, and then send that news content directly to the local stations. And then that, that's how we'll never get our point of view, in the, according to them, uh, across uh, over the, the networks, but we can just take it directly to the, to, the, to the local stations. Well, the idea was to circumvent the network's decisions and give them propaganda, basically, Republican propaganda. Later, Roger Ailes would get exactly. involved in the 1970s and trying to do an actual station with nothing but Republican propaganda. But, you know, you talk about the dirty tricks in there, and this is really interesting. Tell me about how they wanted to use Democrats to get across their ideas. There, there's a memo uh, in, in, in the files that, that from one of uh, Ailes' underlings saying that they were going to pull the plug on a, 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 a program that he, was, that he was producing that was going to feature two pro-war uh, senators, Senator Stennis and Senator McClellan, two, uh, Democratic senators. And the reason that they were pulling the plug is they said, Roger, this, they don't know that they're being duped. They think that this is a news program. They don't realize that, that, uh, that this is a White House run um, operation and, and the damage that could be done if they find out is is too much for us to bear. So we actually tried to sort of recruit these Democrats under a kind of false cover. That's awesome. Uh, to, that's to awesome appear. because that's yeah. Fox News 101. They dupe Democrats that coming right. on there when they don't realize it's Republican TV and they're like, what? Oh, I made your point. I didn't know that. <laughs> right. So, I mean, he really has well, an unbelievable plot and you got to give him credit. And look, not just in it, coming out with a strategy, which was in a lot of ways brilliant, but let me give you one thing from your own report, which is amazing. You talk about when they, uh, how carefully they manipulated the media. Ailes writes a memo about, hey, let's pick up this kid during a Christmas lighting tree. Don't just hold his hand. Pick him up and press the button together so that you get equal credit for it. Don't let the kids steal the credit. It's amazing. But you know what? We found the old tape of Nixon doing that. Let's show you. Well, you're of the middle. I 
Andre. So you put your hand right on here and I will. We'll do it together. Ready? Here we go. Go. There, look at the tree. So there you are. And now if we will all, if you're still not completely drowned by the water, we're going to sing joy to the man exactly how Carl Rove drew it up for him. And in fact, here's what they wrote. Quote, this simple gesture will, will do much to humanize him with all parents. It seems like Roger Ailes has been pulling the strings for the last, I don't know how many years. Last word here, real quick. One of the, one of the amazing things is that it's like he, he, the, it's like a coach taking his playbook from one team to the other. When he's working for the for for, for Nixon or for Bush, he advised, "Look, don't play too much golf because the media right. is gonna gonna go after you." And now exactly. he's going after uh, Barack Obama for playing too much golf. Now exactly. that he's, he's on the other All side. All right, John Cook, we gotta go.